The Paper Boy by George G. Moore. Under a setting sliver of the moon, Carl dismounted his bike, and the backyard's metal gate greeted him with a squeak as he opened it. He performed his last delivery of the morning by dropping the newspaper on the patio. His stomach tightened, anticipating a question he'd been eager to ask since he'd met Violet three months ago. He called out in a loud whisper, Vi, over here. He followed her voice across the dewy grass where he found her by the shed, hunched over a telescope. What's this morning's show? Venus and Mars are dancing around the moon. Here, take a look. She rose, smiling, pushing her blonde hair behind her ear. She took his hand with her soft, warm fingers and pulled him close. Look, you don't want to miss it. Fuzzy spots filled the view until he adjusted the focus, careful not to disturb the telescope's position. Red Mars grabbed his attention. Mars is on the right and Venus is below looking greenish today, she said. That's amazing. What once were random white dots in the night sky that he'd mostly ignored were now a wondrous sight, thanks to Violet. He stood straight and looked into her eyes. Did you get it? Her gorgeous smile grew wider as he, she reached into her pocket and handed over her prize. Don't laugh. The picture is horrible. The firm plastic document was what he'd yearned so long for, especially since meeting her. But she was a couple months older and earned her driver's license first. It's fantastic. Congratulations. He handed it back. At that moment, he had second thoughts about his next question. He hesitated, wanting to ask, but afraid of the answer. What? she asked. The picture's not that bad, is it? It's not that. I was just wondering. I mean... Her blue eyes caught the first golden rays of dawn. Without thinking, he blurted out, Would you like to go to the movies Friday night? <laughs> of course. It's about time you asked. His cheeks warmed. It isn't like I could put you on my handlebars. Well, I'm driving, and I'll pick you up at seven. She hugged him and gave him a quick peck on the lips. I've got to get ready for school. See you there.